Hi there, Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Christy from In the Stars by Christy.com. And this is your September 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading. So, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you guys. But before anything else, before I forget to mention that this is a general reading, and it may or may not tune in necessarily for each and every Scorpios out there. So just keep that in mind. So um, yeah, and if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Christy.com. Anyway, let's get on with the reading for you guys, Scorpios, and let's see what's going on. Now, for Scorpios, you do have your first card with the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords are commonly known as the card of travel, but it's basically a card that tells us that we want to venture into a new pathway or we want to venture into new lands. There is something that we want to do. We want to, you know, it's like having a plan for something, having some form of wanting a change of pace wanting to move forward but this is basically a point wherein we are planning about it we are thinking about it it doesn't mean that we are actually doing what we are thinking about but it is definitely an element wherein maybe you're thinking about something maybe you're thinking about connecting with someone talking to someone uh, moving into someone moving in those kinds of energies this is a situation wherein uh, when we think about the matters of the heart we're thinking about love and in in the context of a relationship uh, there is some form of change that we want to happen in there and i kind of feel that a lot of people are feeling some form of change that they want to manifest and bring into their into their own situation especially going to be felt this month of september it could be due to the retrograde of mars and aries we're in i want to change things and all of that and it's going to be turned inward so if you have been very stubborn with taking action in certain things this could be a month a month wherein you know there will be a surge of energy that is going to push you in making some form of action and your foundation card of the reading is the king of wands so the king of wands is that you know that form of energy we're in you know it has a whole lot it, it's a it, it's the king of wands it controls the energy in place it is a very adventurous sign of hey i want to do this i want to do that i want to plan things it doesn't really um focus on what other people think it's just that you know it's a very responsible sign as well it's not a sign that uh it's not a, a card that uh, just focus on fun and games it's like i want to you know it this is it is a card that thinks about certain plans for action that i have to do this i have to attain this this is my goal in life so there's a lot of passion that is being carried over into this it could be that you are in a situation right now wherein you are wanting to manifest things, you want to change things, you want to bring something into to a relationship, or it could be you want to bring something into your love life as a whole. It is being crossed over, the Six of Swords, it's being crossed over by the King of Swords. Now, this is a, a situation wherein you try to check in with the pros and cons of a situation. So yes, you are planning into something, you're thinking about something, but it doesn't mean that you're, you're actually doing it. So there is really something that is being focused onto your mind. You're really, really thinking about it very, very much um, throughout the month of September. And your goal into this, because the top of the reading, you have the Ten of Cups. So um, the idea here is for some form of happiness in the air. Maybe you're thinking about what will make you happy and, and, and about love as well, because this is like the perfect scenario kind of card. So maybe you're thinking about settling down and you want to be with someone that's truly worth it. That's someone that you can call your husband, you call your wife, that kind of energy. So I kind of feel that this is strongly linked to Scorpio men in general, or because we do have a lot of kings over here. 
I kind of feel that this might be, you know, a reading for a lot of Scorpio men, or maybe this is what's going on with your Scorpio guy if you are a Scorpio woman. So it could be anything of those. I just kind of feel that there is a form of energy here, and the things that are manifesting here could be happening in a very internal level wherein this is something that they are feeling. It doesn't mean that we are seeing a form of action, but they are at the verge of wanting to to do something. It's like um, some form of serious decision is being um, is is being put into some form of consideration and in the near future we also have here the high priestess card and it, it gives me a feeling that if you're a scorpio guy or if you're dealing with a scorpio man this is a situation wherein they are thinking about someone like a woman that has hold over them like it, they th this woman has a big influence in their life and maybe it's something that they cannot deny it doesn't have it doesn't have to be someone very beautiful but uh, this woman has some form of charisma or hold into them that they cannot forget about this person that kind of energy so maybe they are at the point of their life wherein they want to begin something more intimate with that person um i'm not really sure but it gives me a feeling we're in it's like you know it's like a bridge between a man and a woman and the man is is you know deciding if he should cross that bridge to that woman that they cannot forget you know so it it is possible that maybe they already had a relationship before or it is also possible that it is a new relationship and you just you know cannot help but get drawn with that specific person so this can be happening in any you know vice versa kind of thing again this is what's difficult when it comes to general reading because you see one thing on one angle yet at the same time this can manifest in different ways depending on what the circumstances are in the in the situation I just kind of feel that the reading this reading for for Scorpio is very very much spiritual and karmic all at the same time and having the high priestess card in the near future event of this scenario it doesn't always have to be a woman it can also mean that your intuition is going to be playing a big role when it comes to whatever decisions that you are going to decide upon when it comes to your love life and relationships it's more like it's telling you that you need to listen to your own intuition what it tells you you don't really need to think of the what ifs and what are the practicalities of life you know all of that kind of thing it's it's like telling you that your intuition will will ba basically guide you to the real answer that you should take that kind of thing i just kind of also feel that you know there's something more into this with a scorpio reading it's like there is some form of complicated situation happening here because we do have the eight of pentacles which means yes you are you know ready to to venture into this new beginning and maybe you want to be more serious you want you you're wanting some form of firm foundation into this however in the other person's re, uh other person's position card you have the death card over here so the death card is a very transformational card it could also mean that this is a relationship that already once ended before or it could be you know it could be that some form of spiritual connection that you have with that person maybe it's very karmic or something like that we also have the wheel of fortune over here so it gives me a feeling that this can be very much of a like a twin flame or soulmate relationship all over again so it's like the two of you had separate ways in the past and you know there are lessons with that but one of you i guess the male in this scenario is wanting to make a connection to the female um, energy 
the overall card of the reading we have the empress card and aside from that the last card of the of the deck we actually have the hierophant card so i'm showing you all of these cards just to tell you how much spiritual this is we have this you know very karmic card of the wheel of fortune we have you know a lot of major arcana here and it gives me a feeling where in something fated can actually occur this month of september for you guys you know maybe the action you know it maybe it's not a point wherein there's a lot of events going to happen but you might make a crucial decision or something might happen into your love life which can you know change and alter the course of your whole life this can also mean that you know if you are in a karmic or soulmate relationship there could be a chance that maybe you're thinking about rekindling a connection in the past i just kind of feel that there is something about spiritual connection happening over here and there's also a tendency to for for some form of movement communication to to arrive uh, mutual growth to occur because i just kind of feel that you know someone is thinking about you you know they're you know either you or the other person is thinking about you and that that energy and that power wants to manifest and you know come into some form of reality for many of you this is going to be a form of fulfillment of wishes wherein it's something that you've always longed for something that you've always wanted to happen but i just kind of feel that this is for people who has entered some form of solitude in the past you know in their past maybe they have been they have spent time to be alone to be separated with their loved one and now they are coming to a point wherein maybe they are ready to to take on responsibility to really be there for you for the long run and you know sometimes it's that point we're in sometimes there are issues wherein the woman is very highly spiritual enlightened and then the, the male counterpart isn't so the, that creates some form of struggles especially when it comes to twin flames and soulmate relationships but i'm now getting that point wherein the male is getting to a point of spiritual enlightenment all at the same time so when that happens when it comes to you know i'm talking about twin flames and soulmates relationship when when it occurs this way it is now possible for the male and the female to actually reunite in divine you know destiny or something like that so i'm getting that you know this reading has a lot to do with that of course i'm not saying that every scorpio is going to have their happily ever after it's just that i just feel that in this reading like something can occur for the month of october like the decision might be happening on september but i just kind of feel that um you will know if you are going to be with that person or not on october like maybe something major is going to happen on that month it's just that um the process of your own desires is going to be triggered this month you know maybe you thought that you don't feel anything anymore and then suddenly you will feel a surge of emotions and a lot of energy this month of september um when it comes to the matters of the heart you know so your true feelings and your true emotions will definitely blow up and you'll find out something this month and yeah this is going to create a lot of shake up and a lot of change not just when it comes to your relationships but with the decisions that you are also about to make scorpio so um yeah this is actually a very complicated reading 
so I do apologize if there are any confusions with that I just kind of feel that you know um, to remove all the confusions just focus on your own intuition this month it's definitely one that will guide you to the right path and all at the same time um, any decision making that you stumbled upon think about them very thoroughly do check the pros and cons with that as well and also i kind of feel that female people in your life is going to be having a huge impact um so uh, yeah uh with that and for the rest of it i just kind of feel that this is going to be a very spiritual and karmic month for a lot of scorpios but hopefully it will give you some form of enlightenment and insight as it go along so yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me um i do hope that somehow one way or another this will give you insight and clarity to your situation if you do want a more personal reading a more specific one specifically done for you you can do that by booking a session through my web my website insta in the stars by chrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month